Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Super Auto Battlemon, the roguelike auto battling, well, Pokemon style game. We are going to be popping back in to check out the demo again because it has been getting updates since we've last played. There are eight new Battlemon lines since we played last, which is 24 new Battlemon. There is a whole page system, which is basically an ascension system. There's just a lot that has been tweaked in such a short amount of time for a demo. It's wild. Let's go for a random start and see what we can get up to. Uh, let's see. There are two new ones over here. And we got one. Peb Peblo. 200 Explode. So, uh, I did have to unlock some of the new lines. Like, you know, uh, we have to win a run with three of the same type of like one of their typings and then we will unlock them so i've gotten i think i got four unlocked so there's still even more to explore yet it is kind of wild uh but if you don't know what the game is it's kind of like a super auto pets and if you don't know what that means we're gonna be exchanging attacks back and forth and all of the battle mon have their own unique abilities that activate uh once you have charged up their energy which is the yellow bar right here so you can charge that up by either attacking or being attacked and then you'll cast an ability for him. It's explode on death, which is pretty, pretty fun if I'm going to be honest. So let's grab him. So what do we do? Air and earth. So earth gives us thorns. Air gives us multi-strike. Um, I don't really know. Shaka. Grant the back ally 15 charge and heal yourself for 50. So, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to give that a go. Let's put uh, knock in the front here. We also should move Peblo forward because if he explodes and kills them, it doesn't really matter if he does that if he's in the back, right? That is not that exciting. Uh, so I kind of want to combine these two together, but they have nothing in common. Grant the back ally 15 charge and heal yourself for 50. Like, yeah, that, I'm going to take it. The thing that lines them up together to me right now is, I guess, if we go for, like, electric, that could be kind of fun. Let's see what we can do. We can get peeling. Grant the front ally 5 fast. Hmm. That's actually not bad. We could... Wait. We could put Peeling in the back. Shaka in the front. Peeling in the back to buff up Peblo so he attacks a lot faster. And thus gains more explosions. So he explodes big time before we would eventually get to Peeling. That... I actually like that a lot. That's kind of interesting. There is a way to go for Schemo as well. Heal the lowest health ally for 50. We could put you back here. But then we're like... We've got our finger in so many pies already at that point that it is kind of gnarly. Uh, but we also have, you know, of course, typing on all of these. Hmm. Do we take the peel? I think we take the peel. We take the peeling. Random event to rest area. I feel like we go for the rest. Uh, 30 experience or gain a grass typing. Sure. So that means we have even more regen. Which could be a lot of fun. Belief, Berry, Grubber. I will say Bayleem has no point being on this squad right now. Actually, Belief could be really interesting here. Because you could give the charge... Well, we kind of want you to get hit more. Because then you charge up more. It's kind of a... It's a weird mix. It is a weird mix indeed. When you get hit, you grant the person behind fast. Or when you cast your ability, you grant them fast. Which basically just lets them attack quicker. Which can be nice. Okay. So you explode for 200 right now, which is not that much. Yeah. 400. 600. It was not enough. The squad is lacking. It is absolutely lacking and slacking. Bug and fire. You are not kidding. You are completely good against every... Everything you have is good against everything that I have. This is a nightmare. 
Okay, so this is a loss. Like, this is a, a factual uh, loss. Yeah, like, we could put Bayleam in the front and, like, delay the inevitable, like, a touch. But it, it's not good, on top of the fact that they have Chimpire, who is incredible and good against everybody that we have. This is basically, it, it just comes down to, do we get to kill one of them? That would be cool. It'd be really cool if we could kill one of them before we die. That is the whole thing that I'm hoping for right now. Uh, and of course, no. Dang, man. How do you have a tier two already? That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Um, okay. So we need something to fix this squad up. Snows gives the K to enemies, which is something. We also have... Yeah, no, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'll, t I'll take Manku, but it doesn't really particularly matter. Lightning and physical. Dusk and physical. I think we'll go up this way. Unit can gain ice. We kind of want to buff up whoever's in the front. So maybe we do something like... Maybe we do do this and buff up you. The issue is the thing is... Okay, wait, hold on. Gain of a barrel, unit gains decay, and the barrel's effect. But then we will also definitely lose that fight, is the thing. Like, we can't beat the barrel right now. It's a very, very strong unit. Physical, not interested. Okay, hold on. Let's upgrade the new ones. Grass and earth. And then maybe we even go as far as to say, uh, I have to trash something, otherwise... Otherwise, we are in hell. Okay, so you are now a Sparka. 30 charge and heals up for 100. Gain 400, twice as much explode. Again, they're pretty much completely good against everything I have, unfortunately. They're good against everything on my bench also, so like, there's no point swapping things out. The good news is, I think we've gotten ourselves into a, uh, a better spot. Okay, so you're gonna... You finally got your taunt. So now it trades aggro back to you while you hopefully regen back up. And then maybe even cast a little bit more. So then it would keep going with this because, yeah, you have a taunt. Belief has a taunt, forcing them to hit it instead. Kind of interesting. Grab that and we got... Okay, we got a squad of tier twos. Don't mind if I tier do. Oh, boy. Okay, so the options are upgrade peeling so that we have just like an actual clean squad for a while. Or uh, or just kind of cross our fingers and hope. We can't really take chances right now because we have 30 health, meaning like the next loss is a full complete loss. Okay, so yeah, you, you are going to stack up a hell of a lot, hopefully, before Kama Yidl eventually takes over and sort of like... Starts to off tank more or less. This squad seems effective. It seems very effective. Okay. Now we really get to choose. I think we'll we'll try and upgrade Peblo, I suppose. I don't really think it's gonna happen. I I highly, highly doubt it. But if I could get one tier three in the mix, come on, Peblo. No Peblo. Okay. Man, you are weak against so many things. I kind of don't want to spend my energy though because I need all of these for the boss. If I can't handle this, I think we're gonna have a problem anyways is kind of where I'm at. So just heal up, keep healing up. Okay, we're, we should be good now. Tommy Yeetle's got an obscene amount of poison on him, which is fine. You're stacking up. You got 800, uh, 800 bomb power, which gets divided among all of them, which is very interesting. 
there's no point to grab anything. Okay. If we do this, we we are gonna get the uh, the big big bomb boy, Mr. Bombastic. Uh, okay, hold on. Do the one that has the least first, and then it doesn't it doesn't really matter. We're not gonna be able to get anybody else upgraded. Look at that son of a gun! Gate eight hundred explode. All right, this is what it's all been for, man. Energy, energy, strength, strength, speed, poison, poison, energy. Okay. So you have 800 bomb already. And it's important that you're here because if you're in last, it's like it doesn't fully matter if you get that in time. But like, how much health do you have? 6,000. If you die last here, when these are already dead, that all of that damage theoretically goes to you because it says it's split evenly among all allies or all enemies. Dear God, I'm glad it's not allies. But yeah, this is interesting. So you are going to be tanking for a while and eventually dying pretty easily here, unfortunately for me. But all the while, we're hopefully stacking up like a silly, silly, big, big bomb. All right, back on you. And you, oh my word, that is some damage. Okay, not like this. Please kill him. Okay. We got 4,800. 6,400. It kills him in one shot. That's so dumb. Oh, and we unlocked the... Uh, okay. Apparently, I didn't have them locked. That is wild. Okay. I mean, that was the whole plan. Was basically just get gem packed big enough to do that. That was really risky, though. If that didn't kill, we would have lost. Man. All right. Very, very cool. I mean, I think we'll, we'll obviously play again and we'll see what we can do to make it work. Uh, but I'll have to go ahead and unlock some more stuff off camera. But I guess now that we know what we've got, uh, I guess I can check the battle decks. I, I kind of want to save some of these other ones for future videos, you know? Like, maybe we explore, uh, try and explore, like, the Shaka plan. So maybe we go for, like, more of an electric angle. Uh, I think that's maybe the play. So, electric angle. You know, we could end up... We could just go Kreeze for a sec. Because um, there, there's a weird amount of overlap between, like, water and electric. And by that, I mean... There's overlap with ice and electric, and then there's the water electric guy. I think there's maybe even... There might be two water electric guys? I can't remember. Grant 100 shields to the front ally, and then gain 20% of my shield as strength. You're kind of better in the front, then. But yeah, we'll, we'll try and just do a couple runs here. We'll just do another run here. See if we could get another win. I don't know. That one was by the seat of the pants. It, I think things got balanced differently. Like, it feels really, really hard to get, um... There's Pablo again. To get things up to, like, a, um, tier 3. It seems really hard. Okay. What is this, 15? Is that the splash? Yeah, we have water splash damage, so we do 15 damage to everybody whenever we hit. That's not bad. Just a nice addition. Okay. 20 strength. We'll, we'll grab the pup ice, try and do something a little bit new. But I would love to, yeah, I was gonna say, I'd love to get Shaka again. Gain 20% of my shield as strength. See, that's, that's kind of the weird thing, is Shaka definitely seems like a front line. I guess we could do something like this, and then put you there. Pup Ice. You grant charge, so you grant the shield to everybody. You grant shield to the front. And then you slowly stack up shield, theoretically, because you wouldn't be taking damage. One would think. One would think. We're going to be getting rid of Baleem at some point, that's for sure.
not that it's bad. It's just not going to be what I'm running. It is nice to start with an actual rare, you know? I just, I can't deny starting with a random common is so much more appealing to me. Okay, so I would love to try and get Shaka max ranked. Unit gains grass or ice. I'll tell you what. I'm fine with either of those. The issue is I don't... Huh, the issue is I don't really want it on Shaka because if you're in the front line, you don't really want to have a third typing. It's not that beneficial. Unit gains lightning if possible. Now there we're talking. This is kind of interesting. Getting kind of interesting. Another Shaka. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much all good there. Charkin. Charkin. Grants all allies 100 afterlife. What the hell, dude? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. This, again, I can't wait to mess with it eventually. I don't know if that time is now. Do we take Zipstrat to get full electric? I think we do. I think the goal is just, like, get a good squad and get them all... Okay, we're, we're dead here. I mean, we're fighting a legendary. I don't know what you... Or the game's equivalent of a legendary. What do I expect, right? Okay, so you buff up somebody else, and then you get a little bit of strength. It does feel like it makes most sense to have Kreeze in front, but I kind of want to utilize Shaka. It's, just, it's a little weird, you know? Does shield go down over time? Or is it just because we have poison? Would you stop casting that? Grab the zip strat. And then we just like start perma boosting, right? Shaka. Shaka. Into Sparka. Okay, so yeah, you, you are... You grant the ally in front splash. I feel like this is a little bit better. Because then when you go down, you are at least still going to be getting buffed up. Huh. Alternatively, we could just do this and have you super stack in the back. So that when it eventually gets to you, you're doing wombo damage. There, there's a couple interesting angles here. All I know is I don't really want to use my items if I can help it. But this is a, it's an interesting unit for sure. We have the ice, so whenever we get hit, we gain fast as well. But ultimately, look at all this shield. And you're, you're getting a lot of damage boost regardless. So I think it's fine. Squad seems strong. Yeah, we're, we're going to try... I think we're going to try and get... Uh, I'd like to get Sparka up. Wait, they literally, it's literally my my whole squad. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Like... It's... If you were tier 2, it'd be a literal, like, a mirror match. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Yeah, th if, unless we had Kreeze in the front, like, Kreeze in the back is interesting, but, like, he gets more strength upgrades uh, this way. In front and behind. All right, we should be... We should be fine. Theoretically, the thing they have over us is the core glue, but the thing they don't have... Well, I guess we can see what Kreeze in backline looks like. Yeah, they, they also don't have any of these set bonuses, which I've got to tell you, this electric set bonus seems kind of gnarly, man. Seems like we have absurd scaling and nobody's even touching us. Do we share the love? No. Unit gains grass. 
fif uh, 15 regen doesn't really change that much, if, I, if I'm being real. Okay. So you're at 90. We should be okay to start grabbing some random stuff. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, please. Take down the front. Oh. Okay, so now it's up to you, Kreez. And honestly, he's working pretty well. Honestly, he's working really well. I think Sparka gets up to, uh, to max rank already. So Zipstrat or Pup Ice? I guess Pup Ice would be better. Actually, I don't know if we make it there anymore. Hold on. Hold on. Do we not make it there anymore? Why is it so hard to get the max rank now? What? You, what how far away? You're 30 away? Wait, are you kidding me? We have to shoot. We have to potentially go into the final battle with a tier two, tier one zip strat, or we can't get spark up the max. Which one is? Hmm. As it, as stupid sounding as it is, I think that having the tier three is actually more game changing. As stupid as it sounds, it a tier three in your front line, like your front unit needs to be higher. But man, I I really this change. I'm not a fan of it. The whole level one only gives you five experience thing. I don't think it's a good change. I I, I get the reasoning behind it. But something else needed to be tweaked. Well, it's not that it's not a good change. Something else needed to be tweaked alongside it, because it's really hard to get your guys up to Tier 3 now. Which is a lot of the fun, right? That being said, this squad is broken. But I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe the answer is that Tier 3s need to... Oh, wait, what am I talking about? We can't get Spark up. Oh, yes, we can. Well, the way we would do that is by let's see, taking anything but Zipstrat. If I take Zipstrat, it becomes a tier two, but then Sparka can't rank up off of these three because they're all level one. Like, I don't get this, the level two plus 10 experience thing when it's basically impossible to get there, right? So I think we take this because it makes the difference. Oh, we, we have one more. Oh, thank God. Thank God. So sell the lowest experience first. They're all the same. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, unit gains toxic. There's no point to any of that. Shanka. 60 charge and heal your s to the back. That's two casts? Wait, are you for real? Does it matter here at this point between those? And we were able to stockpile all our items, and we have so many fast boots. Boost, 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 strength, splash, boost, poison, energy, afterlife. Oh my word. Okay, so let's see. Does the backline really get a cast twice here? I think it was kind of... It's kind of broken. The backline doesn't seem like it's... Oh yeah, no, it's, it's working. 100, 100. No, it's only casting once. It can't overflow? No, it can. Okay, okay, okay. Oof. Not that it matters. Like, we're, we're totally fine regardless here. This is silly. This guy is thick as hell. This guy eventually gets some pretty stupid uh, damage, but I don't think it's even going to matter. Look at this. Not even. It's not even going to matter a little bit. Not to mention, look how much shield this guy gets. He gets 579 damage. Watch this. When he, when he hits, here it comes. Big big smack. Love it. 666 damage. Oh, my. All the while... Okay. I was going to say, all the while, we're not even losing actual health. We've lost our first actual health. But this guy's getting strong, strong, strong. Yeah, we, we get... Wow silly we've unlocked a, a weird electric rabbit it seems 
Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. But I think that that's going to settle it here. I know it's a bit shorter, but the runs of this are obviously so short in the demo form. But we'll be checking this out for a little bit here. I guess we have the pages. What's this? On start, all enemies gain 2% of health as regen. Oh, Lord. Do you get some kind of benefit for climbing the pages as far as, like, strength up? But and not, like, I don't think so. Man. The fact that there's 15 difficulty levels is concerning. <laughs> With how, uh, you know, how gnarly it gets near the end, you know? If you don't have a, a good squad, like, a pretty good squad, you are screwed right now. So the fact that there's 15 difficulty levels? I don't know, man. We'll see. We will see. What is this? Toggable option that lets the enemy gain matching type bonuses just like your units. Oh my goodness. This is new. Oh my word. The boss has the first type bonus of every single set. What the hell? Who's doing these? Who's doing these? This, is, this sounds like some, like, you know hyper people who've been playing like grinding like crazy in discord are saying like yeah we need this that's is what it feels like oh my word these are some gnarly things uh for just the first difficulty level but we'll see we'll see i'm very curious uh and i'm very excited to check out and play with the future new battle mod but we're just gonna be checking it out until we've kind of uh you know had our fill again but it's just cool to see the demo getting updated so much i just want to support that practice it's such a cool thing to just constantly drip feed new stuff in the demo i think it's a great idea uh but alas alas that is that and that is going to do it here for today thank you for watching check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day and i will see you next time bye